good evening uh, there to you, Jay161, Alpha Uniform 161 Australia. You got a Q5 uh, trip coming here to the uh, southern Gulf Islands of Canada. We got you on the video gate again. You've been a lot of my video gates there, Jay. Uh, how's everything in Australia? Yeah, you're coming in good, Jay. We got some idiot on there throwing a carrier. There's somebody out there throwing an AM carrier. Uh, do you want to take it down to 415? Can we take it to 415? Yeah, How about a J Alpha Uniform 161, Queensland, Australia? 9 Alpha Uniform 791, out here, Salt Spring Island, Southern Gulf Islands. Hey Roger there, Jay. Wow, that's a lot of rain, buddy. That is a lot of rain. Uh, it's been a cooler than normal spring here on the southern Gulf Islands, but now we're back to normal. Uh, right now is a little cooler today, but not bad. It's about 60, 60, 61 degrees, so about 15, 16 degrees uh, Celsius. And uh, current time is 4.05, uh, about 4.05 uh, p.m. Pacific time uh, Monday, Roger. Or Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, Tuesday. Not Monday. So I'm here on that because I was going to say you two days behind them. Uh, we, 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 Australia. Midweek. Oh, sounds absolutely beautiful, man. That's one place I want to see is down under sometime, I tell you. I talked to a lot of people there, and I know we've been talking for quite a few years, and uh, you always come in good, dude. You sound like a local out here. You definitely sound like a local. And uh, you know what? That rain, Jay, will keep everything nice and green, like you say. And, like, it's very green here, too. Very, very green here on the southern Gulf Islands because we've had our fair share of rain this spring, too. Roger. All right on, man. Thanks for the radio report, Jay, man. You're on a nice big chunk of land, that's for sure. Sounds absolutely amazing. Uh, you're coming in real good, and you'll be able to see this when I upload it. I'm doing a live stream right now, video gate. So you're actually on the live stream video gate on the YouTube channel, and plus I have my camera rolling too, so we'll also upload this as well. And like I say, you've been on many of my video gates, and uh, you're coming in real good. You're the only one on frequency. you got really good audio and a good signal. That's amazing. I lose track of time, buddy. You know, now that I'm retired, I've been retired since uh, last year for six months now, and I really lose track of time, so a decade already. And you know what? You'd be on some of my first video gates that I shot a decade ago, because I started shooting video gates, I think, around uh, early January 2012, maybe late December uh, 2011, somewhere around there, Roger.
really happy to make the contact. Um, there's a few stations like yourself. I've had the opportunity to be able to talk to you in quite some time, in particular a number of good friends of mine. Out there in 224 Division, from Kiribati, a good school for a uh, school uh, out of school teacher uh, there um, on the small island. Um, we'll talk about Edward, he's been working for a long time as well, and uh, great to catch up with him recently also. So the conditions are looking exceptionally well. Um, we've so far had a recent work with him, and now we're running for Edward, direct journalist, a time in Well, Jay, it's doing a really good job for you, buddy. That Ranger radio is awesome, and so is your antenna. And uh, you know what? The uh, ra I'm running an RCI 2970 uh, DX right now. I bought this one from New York about 10 years ago, and I've uh, never had any problems with it. And I'm running a handheld uh, D104 uh, amplified there, preamp. Uh, it turned up to about 7, seven right now, between 6 and 7. And uh, Antron 99, oh, about 20 feet off the ground. That's about it, Roger. We got a we got a few different antennas up, but I'm talking to you on an Antron 99 right now, Roger. Yeah, I was out doing some yard work earlier. I was out uh, weed eating along the front of the boulevard of the accommodations and uh, had to dig out a drain pipe and then I did some recycling. I was in town today. I had a pretty busy day and then I decided, you know, I'd come in, turn on the radio and some skip was rolling in. So, hey, why not work a little DX, right? Yeah, I start the bike up every couple weeks. I'm going to put it on the road probably about mid-June. Mid-June, I put the bike on the road, and I usually license it for about three months. I'm a real warm weather rider, Jay, and as, as I get older, I like the warm weather even more. So usually about three months, we license it. Roger on that. I used to ride a lot of dirt bikes, and I love riding dirt bikes. If you got the property, take advantage of it. That is awesome, man. I love it. I'd love to see that place. Twenty-five million! Oh my God! <laughs> I got to win the Powerball lottery. Yeah, 
standing here close to the town, but unfortunately we can't. Well, we're a bit stranded here at the moment because our driveway is underwater. I uh, maybe need to sell my car and buy a boat there, Joe, but that's only going to take me so far back here, Joe. <laughs> no kidding. Well, we do have a boat, but we're up high and dry, so it'll never flood here, but... Uh, it's probably a handy thing to have where you are. If you get that much rain every so often, get yourself a couple of kayaks or maybe a little boat. That's amazing, man. That is amazing. Yeah, we're up about 160 feet above sea level, about uh, 900 feet from the Pacific Ocean. So we're up on a rock here, so it'll never flood where we are. But I know over on the mainland and stuff in lower uh, lower elevations, uh, they can definitely get some flooding. There was some bad flooding uh, southeast of Vancouver in November. They had a lot of rain out there in the Fraser Valley, and there was a lot of a uh, lot of flooding out that way. But that's quite a far ways east of us, right? Yeah, I tell you what, my battery's flashing in my camera, so we've been talking 12 minutes and uh, 20 seconds. 12 minutes and 20 seconds, and uh, yeah, it seems to be pretty good conditions. Like I say, Jay, you're the only one on this frequency right now. You're owning the frequency. Okay, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll upload this to my Banana JSSI channel tonight before I go to bed. I'll upload it to Banana JSSI, and uh, you can see how good you're coming in, because things seem to upload on that channel faster. And uh, maybe later on I'll put it on Jungle Joe C as well, Video Gates. But we'll get it on Banana JSSI uh, YouTube channel, and you can see how exactly how good you're coming in. And you're coming in amazing. Right on, man. No, I enjoy a good uh, QSO like this. It's uh, a lot of times there's always a uh, QRM or somebody kind of coming in there. There's little sometimes background noise, and right now it's uh, basically like we're talking local. Absolutely. Yeah, we had a few dead days there and then it kind of picked up today, but I always enjoy talking to South Pacific and Central Pacific Hawaiian Islands and Australia. So um, you usually hear Australia, New Zealand, Tasmania, uh, usually in the evening. And like I say, right now we got 4.20 p.m. Pacific time and I'm looking out my man cave window at some eucalyptus trees. So I'm thinking of you right now, man. I'm looking at all the new growth on the eucalyptus trees. They love this weather. I 
love eucalyptus trees, man. We grow a lot of them here, and uh, I shot a video of some in town today. We have a lot of eucalyptus trees around our town, different varieties of them, and a lot of them I planted over the years from small plants, and they're pretty big trees now. That's amazing, all the wild animals in there. And I know you definitely got the koala bears too. And I think the koala bears maybe only eat certain types of eucalyptus trees. And I think with those big fires you had there, when was it last year or the year before, I think a lot of those uh, koala bears suffered, didn't they? Yeah, you got to watch those brown snakes out there. I heard you guys got some pretty deadly snakes in Australia and some pretty deadly spiders too. I heard the brown snake's pretty poisonous. Oh my god, wow, that's wild, man. Yeah, I'd be a bit freaked out of snakes in the bush, but hey, you know what? You can't live your life in fear, and uh, you know, like we have mountain lions here too, and I don't freak out when I go into the forest. So, anyway, hey, I, I, if there's stations coming in there, uh, I don't want to tie it up too much longer. Did you say there's Montana coming?